Hi guys, today's tutorial is going to be a continuation of the last tutorial and today's tutorial is going to cover how you can kill all the running instances of AutoHotKey and launch all the AutoHotKey scripts that you have saved in a particular folder like the startup folder in one go in one script. So if you're interested in this video, please continue watching. Hello guys, welcome back. Now, in the last video, we talked about how we can kill all the running instances of AutoHockey in the background and restart all the AutoHockey scripts that we have saved in a particular folder, i.e. the startup folder, the folder that contains all the programs that would run on the next reboot of your PC. Now, we've written this script, the first script here, and we expected that this would work because the first command would kill all the running instances of AutoHockey and then the command lines starting from line 3 will restart all the scripts that I have that we have saved in the startup folder but unfortunately that didn't work because the first command actually killed as it was running its own script so in order to get around that there are lines of codes that would do the job for us and I found those lines of codes on a post in the AutoHockey forum and I'll be sharing the the link to the post at the end of this video and from that post is the are these lines of codes now they look very complicated and frankly speaking I don't really understand them inside out I do have a vague clue about what these lines of codes are doing and what this does is I think it gets the process ID of the instance that are, that is going to launch upon me launching this script and store that value inside the PID variable and I think from the next line what it's doing is it looks into it runs a for loop and it looks into processes where this appears to be some sort of a um, SQL query and you can tell from this equal sign it's just going to select everything that has a process name of autohockey.exe and process ID is not this variable this variable is right here so by putting in a query like this I'm guessing what it is doing is it's doing a for loop excluding the current instance of the script running in order to close out the process that are selected through the for loop excluding the current instance of the AutoHockey script running. So in order to utilize these lines of code what we're going to do is we're going to move this up here and then first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill all the instances of AutoHockey. So let me just put a comment, bulk comment for everything else other than the first line and hit save and if I run this um, script then it's going to kill all the AutoHockey scripts running in the background. So to show you that my script 2 and 3 are not running I'm just going to type out one of the hot strings and I can see that this doesn't work. Now that all my scripts are closed let me comment this out and uncomment all of this actually let me comment all of this out and then just run these lines of commands now hit save and run that and that should have run my script 2 and 3 so this time if I typed out on my way the hot string will be reproduced and if I commented these ones and uncommented the lines of codes that are going to close all the instances of AutoHockey except for this one 
I hit save and run the script that should have closed the script 2 and 3 now if I do on my way on my way doesn't doesn't work and alt key down and will up to push up the volume doesn't work either so we know that this script has this these lines of codes have terminated all the scripts running in the background now what we can do is uncomment the loop files function to relaunch all the scripts but only after all the current scripts are closed so right now i've got no hot strings running and if i go ahead and hit save and launch my first script because there is no script running in the background these lines of codes will basically do nothing and because these lines of code exclude the instance that I'm going to run by launching the script as well, it will continue to follow on to the next lines of codes and run this loop files function to launch scripts 2 and 3, right? And when the scripts 2 and 3 are executed, I should be able to use the hot strings and the hot keys. Now, let me go ahead and run the script. Now it should have closed non-existing auto hockey instances in the background and should have looped through the files in the startup folder. So if I now type out my hot string, you can see that it does work if I press will uh, if I press the alt key down and go will up, I can see that the volume goes up, will down brings the volume down. So this is the way to have a script that kills all the instances of auto hotkey in the background except for the current one in order to restart uh, um, all the scripts that you that you have saved in a particular folder like the startup folder. And this is useful in case where you know you're testing your scripts out, you're writing a lot of demo and test scripts and they're still running in the background without your awareness and you feel like it's clogging up your PC or clogging up your tray icon, you're losing track of what's what's um, what's running and what's not running and you want to start anew, then you can run this uh, these commands of lines in order to uh, pretty much do a refresh. Alright, so this is pretty much it for today's tutorial and there's actually another way that I found within the same post where I got that those lines of codes up there to, to close the auto key scripts out. And these will achieve the same result, but I'm not going to test it out because it, it just does the same thing. And you can, you can use that if you want to. And the scripts that I have uh, um, shown you today are going to be saved including the source of the script are going to be saved in my website so go to juho-lee.com and then navigate to the archive section hit auto hockey icon and look through the drop down list to find the entry that matches the title of this tutorial video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video